Hey guys, I am going to show you automated blur bidding with the new setup features such as under bid by. So what under bid by does is it helps you to send high bids on the collection so you make more points, more blur points while making sure that you are not the highest bidder. So if I type 0.01 here, the system is actually going to undercut the highest bidder by 0.01 if it is in my default and max bit ranges. So it actually adds a certain level of protection so that you still make points, but you're, you are not the highest bidder. Of course, if there's an influx of uh, offers being accepted, your offer still can be accepted, but again, this adds a certain layer of protection. Also, another thing NFT provides is, there is the expiry time here. Uh, if I'm not wrong, when you are making bits on blur there is no expire time you just enter your metrics and then that's pretty much all uh, and the expire time is default one year or so i'm not sure but it has a long long expire time all right i'm going to do everything from scratch so to begin with we have to deposit money deposit ethereum to pool balance on blur so i'm just going to deposit 0 0.44 to the uh, blur pool Let's do it. It is going. It is being confirmed right now, and then we are going to pick collections to place our bids on, and then we are going to start earning points. So uh, while it should be available very soon, let's check it. Yeah, the transaction is confirmed. Let's go ahead and find some collections to place bids on. Uh, I'm going to actually go back to NFT it, and I'm going to. Research for some collections up to 0.4 floor price uh, with a minimum blue chip rate of two. Actually, let's make it three. Uh, it means that at least three percent of the holders are also holding blue ch chip collections, like from good collections. Unfortunately, the other day I saw some scam collections which started accepting so many bits all of a sudden. And since people didn't have the expire time here, like hundreds of their bits were accepted at once or in like in a short uh, matter of time. So this is why I really like the uh, expire time that NFT provides. So all right, I'm going to be adding some collections here. Like let's actually start adding them. Uh, I'm going to open another NFT in a tab. I'm going to open Blur Bidding here. And then uh, let's add Ghost Boy, Genuine and that. Ghost Boy, Genuine and that. Uh, let's add, I don't know, Finilair. Finilair, or however it is pronounced. All right, I think four is enough for the demonstration. So I'm going to be looping on them. I'm going to be competitive. And I'm going to underbit them by 0.02. Underbit the highest bit by 0. Actually, for this one, let's make it 0 0.1, just to test it. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. Then I'm going to set the expire time to 20 minutes. And I'm going to paste my private key and start bidding. Okay, I pasted my private key. Now let's uh, enter the default bits and the uh, max bits for these collections. I'm going to enter default bit of 0.01 for every single one of them. And then I'm going to check the floor prices and max bits on blur. So let's come here and check finaliers. Finaliers. And as you see, the top bit here doesn't exist because probably it is not permissioned on Blur. I don't know. How come it doesn't have any top bits? Oh, it just didn't load. It actually has a top bit of 0.29. So I'm going to just say 0.29 here. Or you can actually go up to 0.28. Then, if it is 0.28, the system deducts the underbit value from 0.28. I, will, I wrote down the conditions. I will go over them once we complete it. Then let's check genuine and that. Genuine and that. Top bit is 0.70 or 27. 
I'm just going to enter the top bit here, 1.27. Ghost boy. Over 26. And an infinite lifetime. Oops, I was supposed to search this. An infinite lifetime. 0.18 Before I start, I need to get my token here uh, with an infinite extension. So this is the out token. I'm going to paste it in these fields. Uh, by the way, soon uh, probably we will add blue ratings here too. Now they are open uh, for now. And now we can start bidding. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on now. I this is the first time I'm bidding on this uh, account. All right. So right now I sent a bid of 0.28 to Finiliers, Finiliers, and the max bid, the top bid is 0.29. As you see, I just got myself here. If I wanted to be more cautious, I would have written. 0.2 here, 0.02 here, oops, sorry, here, and then I would then put myself here. And if I wanted to be even more cautious, uh, I would have written 0.03 and I would put myself here. So it's up to you. Right now it's kind of risky what I'm doing. I'm going to get the most point, not the most point, I'm, but I'm going to get a good point somewhat because I'm taking more risk. Uh, this guy is getting the most actually then we are getting the second most points however it is risky because if somebody accept, happens to accept seven bits all this ladder is going to be consumed so it's up to you all right let's check our other bits so genuine undead what had we written for genuine undead i'm going to take it here 0.02 let's check it top bit was 0.27 now I put myself here. For this one, I was being more cautious. I think you got the point, right? Because for this one, for my bid to be accepted, there is going to be like 144 offers here to be consumed, then these ones, and then it is going to come to my letter. So for me, I will probably put myself here, or maybe even here, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, up, it's really up to you, it's a personal choice. Uh, I can go the, on the, over the other ones. For instance, for on FTNet, the top bit was 0.18. My uh, underbit value was 0.04. It placed a bit of 0.14. Uh, right? You see it here. And it is looping and looping and looping. I forgot to go over the blueprint document, so I'm just going to add this part to the video. In this part, we are going to be going over the different conditions and how they and see how they affect our uh, results, meaning how they affect the value of the offers we sent. In all the conditions, our default bit is going to be 0.01. We are going to be changing under bits and our max bit. This is our max bit, the maximum value we are willing to pay. This column represents the highest bit on blur. So in this case, if my default bit is 0.01, my underbit value is 0.01, my max bit is 1 Ethereum, and the current max bit on the collection is 3 Ethereum, the result is going to be 0.99. So I will be sending a bit with the value of 0.99 Ethereum. This is a very similar case. If my max bit and current max bit on the collection are both 1 Ethereum, the result is going to be 0.99 if my default bit and underbit values are 0.01. Actually, default bit here doesn't mean anything because it is already way under the uh, results. So it could have been 0.05. The result will be still 0.99. However, if you change underbit value, which is the case here, uh, the result value will change. But before we go here, we have another condition here. If my default bit is 0.01, underbit value is 0.1 again, 0.01 again, max bit is 1, current max bit this time is actually below my max bit. The highest bit on blur is below my max bit value. And then the system actually undercuts the current max bit on the collection, which is 0.5, by my underbit value, which is 0.01, and offers 0.49. 
In this condition, we change the underbid value. We increase it to 0.05 from 0.01. This time, my max bid is 0.53. Current max bid on the collection is 0.5. And then the result is 0.5 minus my underbid. And uh, it is 0.45. In this case, default bid is 0.01. Underbid value is 0.05 again. My max bit is 0.18. It is the same as the current highest bit on Blur. And then the system again extracts the underbit value from the max value and the end result is 0.13. This is going to be the uh, value you will be bidding. If you want to check, these are the conditions and these are the results. So this is actually how these values are calculated in the backend.